slowing down to speed up. So I don't know which one you are, but sometimes we do things so fast and we think we arrive at a goal quicker or achieve more results. But actually, if we would do the opposite and just slow down, it would be much more effective. Welcome everyone to Working on Clouds, where we look at your work life and we're trying to make it as smooth and cushy as you're walking on clouds. I think it's a little bit of paradox in today's world because everything is fast, you know, fast food, fast decision making, fast failing, fast getting up again, fast, 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 fast. <laughs> so slowing down there seems a little bit counterproductive, but let's look together how this could still help you. So I think there's a famous quote, or at least it's supposed to be that Albert Einstein once said this. So if he had one hour at a time to solve a problem, he would spend, um, I think 55 minutes on the problem and then five minutes on the decision. Something like this. Okay, you can look up the quote, <laughs> but it, it, like, it goes in the right direction. So basically, we should rather slow down and not, you know, react, okay, I make a decision or I do this and I do this quickly, but rather first really spend some time to um, yeah, think about what is actually the problem here. So let's say, let's use an example. So let's say we would have to make an important decision about what are your next studies to choose or what job are you going to take? Then you of course can go quickly to the, sit, to the decision and just look like, okay, what are my options? What are the things? But if you would focus first the majority of the time to maybe think through, well, what is actually the problem here? Um, is the problem that I have too much choice? Is the problem that I'm not sure what to do? Is the problem that I don't want to disappoint others? Is the problem, whatever it is. But if you spend more time first understanding the problem, why it might be, for example, hard to make that decision, then it will be much more effective than just jumping to the decision making straight away. So slowing down. Also, I think, and um, if we really slow down, we, um, we appreciate the moments more. So, you know, everybody talks about mindfulness, being in the moment and so on. But how do you actually do that? You can't do that if you just run through and run around. So think about um, some things you could do for yourself to slow down. Um, I mean, for some it is, you know, doing meditation to have this block of time where they really kind of like calm down. Um, it's not so much for me, I tried it. <laughs> so these, see, there you go. I still need some speed with that. But for example, um, for me, yoga really works well. So I feel like I'm still, you know, doing something, but I'm slowing down there. Another tool that really helps me when I'm thinking about slowing down or speeding up is um, this time metric. So we're gonna put it right here. Um, I saw it first actually in the Stephen Covey book um, that um, it's about um, categorizing your um, all your tasks or yeah the things you do in terms of importance and in terms of urgency. So um, I think if we you know if we speed up on everything and we just do it, then maybe you would fall in the trap of doing all those things in the quadrant. Probably the quadrant comes here, but anyways, wherever it is, you, you would do everything. But if you slow down, then you can really see what are maybe the things that, that are important and urgent, which you should do, okay? Which are the things um, you should maybe delegate, which are the things you maybe should do later, and which are the things you maybe, um, yeah, just get rid of altogether. So here again, if you think about it in terms of time management, slowing down really would help you to first become aware of what are actually the things where I should dedicate a lot of time into first looking at the topic and um, before I'm just running around and doing everything like a little hamster in the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's doing that. So um, that might be a helpful, very practical tool that could help you to slow down and to gain that helicopter view. And one more idea on how to slow down is sometimes we focus a lot of our energy in terms of being fast on others. <laughs> so whether that is we compare uh, ourselves to others or whether that is um, because um, yeah, um, we want others to change. 
Um, but if you really want to slow down to speed up, it's very good if you first start with yourself. So first look at yourself, where can you slow down instead of wanting others <laughs> to do the same or to go like, oh no, they're so much quicker, I have to also speed up. So put the focus a little bit more on yourself, you're running your own race and um, hopefully it's a marathon and not a sprint. So it's good to slow down. Um, so whatever it is for you to kind of like be more present in the moment. And I think then we can also, um, yeah, really then take all um, the energy we get from that and the helicopter view we then develop to then speed up again in terms of your outcomes and what you want to um, achieve. Thank you so much and see you next time.